Are we there? Are we there? Hello? Hello? Look. What's up? Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Hello, everybody. Still the airbrush guy. I have to finish up the shirts that we were doing yesterday. The amazing shirts. But after those quick ones are done, we're going to move on to some fun ones. I've got some cool beach scenes to paint, and it's going to be neat. Yeah, beach. Hello, Molly. Hello, Master. Hello, Air and everybody. What am I? It's Mason, all right? M-A. I got to look at the old shirt. M-A-I-S-O-N. I remember enough what I was doing yesterday. I gotta finish three more of those up. I was gonna finish these all yesterday, but as you can see, I didn't. Sorry. I'm gonna try doing fast though. Hello, Affinity Airbrush. How many did I have to paint? I don't even remember the, the whole total. It was like 15 of these or something. We're gonna get them done quickly. What's up everybody? LaShawn, Molly, No Fun Jan, all of these great people. I'm looking forward to this beach uh, sunset order. There's three of those. They're always fun to do. Um, you can always play with the placement of like the palm trees and the elements and stuff. I don't know if I've done one of those. It's been a while since I've done those on a stream. I got some new songs in the chat. In the chat. In the, in the thing. You guys were making fun of my elevator music yesterday. It's still elevator music, but uh, there's more of it now. How long have I been doing this? Hello, Spicy Toothpaste. And what kind? This How, how long have I been doing this kind of art? Um, my art style has changed dramatically in the last couple of years, I think. It's always been done with the airbrush the last 10 years or so that I've been airbrushing, but I've gotten more into graffiti style lettering like this. And I think I'm gonna stick around in this style for a while. Hello, how are you today? Do you remember me? I do remember you, Aya, Aya. Love your merch, thank you. No one's actually bought any of my merch yet, but it's good to know that you like it. I'm gonna do a lot more soon. I'm gonna do in a bit of an assembly line on these three today so I can get them done faster. <laughs> Pat's back. I'm watching me paint the same shirts. I only got three of these left. I was gonna do them yesterday after the stream, but I didn't. charge for that design if I may ask please um I gotta remember I want to say 30 30 to 35 it depends on how busy I am I kind of change it around um, all of the pricing structure on things and the designs and the whole website is going to change a little bit shortly uh, we'll talk about that but I want to sell I want to paint almost exclusively graffiti style artwork 
but I know everybody wants to see and orders a variety of styles. So I need to, to work with you on that, Pat. We'll figure all that out. Hello, Scarlet Phaser. Can I ask you a favor? Go ahead, what, what can I do for you? You can always ask, I can't promise that I'm gonna do it. You're always coming in strong with the super chat. King Pork, welcome back. You see, I'm doing the same old boring thing here for a minute. Um, we're gonna get into something different here in just a second after I knock these three out. twins did you make like 12 of these i don't know how many i think it was closer to 15 i have the sheet right here 16 show an Arabic translation in your videos I will look into that last time I looked into translating into other languages it meant that I had to do that manually and that's not something I can do um, but if it's a setting that I can enable then absolutely we'll do that I'm gonna look into that I'm gonna make a note captioning other videos and see if I can do that live or see if there's some service that can do that um, you're right that's a valid thing to do a lot of my subscribers here are international and don't speak English and I'd love to be able to uh, serve those people better so yes I will figure that out I'll try to you introduced us to Spray Gunner. Now I only use them when ordering surprise. They're on tour right now and stopping by my home studio. That's super awesome. I saw their little mobile setup thing. You gotta send me some pictures or something of that. Tell them I said, tell, you gotta tell them that, that I sent you. That's gonna mean a lot to them in this beginning stages of us working together. That's awesome. The music's a little too loud. On my end, at least. Okay. Good. Good, good. Let's fill it in with this gray. Move on. Is the airbrush connected to some type of air gas thing? It is. That is the air portion of the airbrush. I typically, people connect it to an air compressor and that air compressor is outside. Hoses are routed through all the way up to here. It's just an air hose. It's not power, it's air.
thought you had to plug it into a wall. Yeah, a lot of people think that it's an electric type of deal. I'm still waiting for two-handed airbrushing. I gotta get set up for that. I gotta get my other hose out. You're just trying to make me ruin your shirt, right? You can see that I still haven't cleaned my gray paint. air gonna get through it what what are we talking about right now thank you affinity Dale, did you already get your YouTube place plaque? No, I did not. Um, I haven't gotten any emails or anything about that. I don't know if they even, not even sure they still do that. With YouTube shorts out, um, it's a lot easier to get subscribers on YouTube. Kind of, we're going to see, I, I'm predicting that we're going to see in the next year or so the value of subscriber slash follower count go down the numerics of how many people follow you is not going to be quite as relevant you're going to have less people following you but a lot more engagement um, from external users so i have a hundred thousand followers that's a lot of subscribers relatively but there's 28 of you in this chat um Whereas you see somebody else that's got 10,000 subscribers and they got 2,000 people in their, in their live stream sometimes. It's a difference in the, the quality of those subscribers. And numerically, I have a lot, but many of them are only subscribed because of those YouTube shorts videos and that's what they want to see. They want one minute of my time. They want to see me paint for a minute real quick and they want to move on with their day. They have no care about my longer format content. They don't want to hang out for a live stream. They don't even care about airbrushing. They just like the satisfying video that they saw. And they want to see more of those. That's why my shorts videos, the short format ones, are really successful. And my other content just quite isn't quite there yet. You gotta look. I think we had to request a play button, maybe. Yes, you may ask me some questions. Thank you, that's what we're here for. I'll try my best to answer them.
think it's great that Dale can carry on an informative conversation and produce complex designs. That's really hard. Thank you, Pat. That is something that came with some practice. Uh, it took a long time for me to be able to. I haven't been a good speaker in general um, my whole life. I've been real mumbly and quiet and timid. You wouldn't see me talking a year ago or two years ago on a camera at all. Uh, but I've figured that that's what I want to do and I just gotta figure out how to do it. So I've been practicing and overcame it and I think it's good. Um, still got a long way to go, I think. I get more nervous for some reason when I'm recording a video to edit than I do during a live stream here. I think this is just so casual that I'm not worried about it. Whatever. All right, let me get these down and we're gonna do the beach scenes. It's gonna be sweet. is the 3XL top one all right here's the design we're doing but we're gonna do it a lot better because this is like a two-year-old design I'm gonna start with a super light yellow for the name the name is Aaron a a R O N. <clears throat> and I'm gonna get fancy with the letters. You guys probably can't see that very well. That's okay, because I can. Does it ship worldwide? It kind of does. Yeah. Kind of does. <laughs> it does. International shipping is just super expensive. And there's nothing I can do about that. I'm just going to go right in with these colors, I guess. I want these to be real bubbly letters. First question, what is your name? Uh, Dale. Second question, how old are you? I'm 28. Third question, where do you, where do you live? I'm from the US of A. <laughs> Thank you, Pat. <laughs> cool pirate theme painting, that would be sweet. Um, well, where are you from, King Pork? Um, 
You might have just answered that and I forgot. My goal is to, I like painting these shirts. I like painting individual designs. This is fun for me, but I can't do this times a thousand people. Um, if I ever want to grow as a business, I have to start selling something that can be mass produced by a different company. I need to sell merch that's printed, right? So I want to improve the merch shop. And, and what that means is that I can have it shipped internationally. I can have another uh, international company shipping to you where you live and not have to charge a ridiculous amount for shipping. So that's, that's my goal. Here's that better drop shadow style that we were talking about yesterday. It's just faster, looks better. I probably shouldn't have done this thing at the bottom. But I did. I'm 19, I'm 28 years old. I am 28, indeed. Just one second, guys. Okay. All right, interrupt my stream with a text message. Okay. Once you develop the muscle memory, um, it's easy to paint while you, you talk. You notice while I was doing the outlines, I was kind of quiet. I was focusing there, but all this is, is really simple. Think about driving a car. That's a complicated thing to do. That's a risky thing to do. It's a lot of variables, but you can have a conversation while you're driving a car, no problem. Are you doing this for an order or just for the video? This is for an order. Most of what I'm doing here is for orders. Ouch. This thick yellow is a nice color, but it's super thick and gross. This. I think this is gonna be a frustrating part of the day is this yellow paint. A smarter man would clean his airbrushes before he started streaming.
Come on. Fine. Difficult design I've ever made. I don't know. Um, portraits are the most difficult design, for sure. There's gonna be a palm tree probably right here, just coming off. I used to put the palm trees inside, and I would like find a way to use a letter with it, but that gets kind of complicated, and it's already hard enough to read. So I've been doing the palm tree just up on top of the letters. Most difficult design is definitely for me is portraits. It's just not the style of artwork that I do. I could spend a lot more time on the actual sunset coloring if I wanted to. Maybe I should. <laughs> Thank you, Aya. Hey, uh... Dagger strokes, dagger strokes. Bird. Another bird over here. I have the feeling that my palm trees are going to change significantly after being influenced by some of the artists in Florida. I know you guys do yours very different. Ken Johnson does his really different. I haven't seen as many palm trees as I would like to have seen in my life. Alright, that's done that part is now underneath las vegas 2021 
in a radioactive shirt. I did a radioactive shirt with some green dripping. It was actually really cool. It's on my Instagram if you scroll back a little bit. It's not a video, it's just a picture, I think. Uh, but it was a pretty cool shirt. All right, done. Las Vegas. All right, this one's a different name. F L F O. What does this say? F O L I T A U. Folitao. 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 I can't pronounce these names sometimes. And that's a simple name. I just don't. F O L I T A U. I don't like tank taps because I want to put the design here and I can't because there's no shirt there. I-T-A-U. I'm sorry guys. I've spelled stuff wrong way too many times to not take my time. F-L-I-T-A-U. There's no beach in Las Vegas, silly customer. That's true. Brushing up the old white cleaner. This is never something I would have done years ago. Just taking that design going straight off the edge of the shirt. This one's a weird one. I want to make sure it's legible. I'm getting real crazy with this lettering. Not my best work. It's not my favorite one. You saw the radioactive? That's cool. It was fun to do. Man. Las Vegas doesn't have a beach, but they do have a really cool lake. Um, I forget what it's called. But when we went there, we went wakeboarding on this lake this beautiful crystal clear water with these giant fish that big that we were you can stand in the water next to and it feels like you're getting eaten by a shark but you can sit there and pet these giant fish they're kind of scary but it was cool what's up dylan dun, 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 dun. talking about liquid nitrogen and pcs i don't even have i need to build a new pc one of these days You didn't miss anything, Dylan. We just did the same thing we did yesterday. Did three more of those shirts. And now we're finally doing something a little more interesting. 
This one's kind of goofy. The last one was better, I think. You for real, Murphy? What? <laughs> it's good to see that the chat goes on even when I'm not talking. It's real hard to keep a conversation up the whole time when I'm the only one saying anything. It was nice to see that in the recent days, you guys keep yourself entertained a little bit. <gasps> you didn't see that. Ooh. Shark type letters and a big shark mouth. That would be sweet. Probably could. I just bent that needle pretty bad. Probably broke the cone too. I just dropped my airbrush. You see that? Let's do some damage control. Why even make war on? Are you guys arguing in the chat? Stop arguing in the chat. Touch the lens on the camera. It might be okay. I think the cone's okay. Oh, I'm struggling, guys. This is a struggle bus. Oh. He can be mean to me if he wants to. That's fine. Alright, come with me, everybody. You're not gonna be able to hear me, but come on with me. all my extra inventory from the airbrush supply shop I got a bunch I'll be in mean still. When will you start spray painting graffiti? Um, when I fix my airbrush. Good time. Uh 
That's going to be weird. I don't like when I get a new cone and needle. Um, you kind of got to get used to it again. It sprays so strongly and cleanly. It's almost too clean. I like having a little bit of buildup. The next one's gonna be fun. I mean that sarcastically. Leticia with a bunch of extra S's in there. So it's another long one, unfortunately. But it's not on a tank top, which means I'll have more room to paint it. It'll look better. You guys are being all ridiculous, let's see. Do you think I could airbrush too? I think anybody could airbrush with some practice. It's just another tool. Um, if you can use a paintbrush or a pencil or something like that, um, even those simple tools take, a, take some muscle memory and some practice to get real good at. What matters more is your artistic ability. And I think that anybody can develop an artistic ability with some practice. It's not that complicated, really. I'm gonna ignore this. You guys are being annoying in the chat over here. Spammy and stuff. That's fine. Which is better website? Etsy, Amazon, etc. to sell. It depends on what you're selling. Very much depends on what you're selling. If you're selling a custom product like this, Etsy is the way to go. Amazon does have their handmade thing that came out a couple years ago. I had, I had used that when it was still in beta, and it, it's made some improvements since then. But at first, it wasn't real great. It was really slow. Um, Amazon Handmade was a good try. They did a good try, and they're probably a lot better now. Uh, but they were they were trying to make Etsy on the Amazon platform, but they didn't know how handmade sellers worked. <laughs> so they were expecting everyone to ship everything immediately, and they were always on the side of the customer instead of the creator. And that doesn't work out when you're the creator, and your customers are always kind of... They don't know how stuff works. So, go back to your question. I think Etsy is a better place to sell handmade goods. Shopify is good too. Shopify is a good rounded solution, and I've heard good things about Squarespace and everything else too. Um, but if you're just trying to get something up and running and you're not a developer and you don't have a bunch of coding experience, just go make an Etsy shop real quick. You can have it up and running in a day and then start doing a thing. They have their marketing built in, their advertisements built in. They do good at making someone that's small and new and doesn't have a following and puts them in front of people. So. I mentioned Florida, not asking your exact location, but are you at a beach? I'm not in Florida. I am in Virginia. I'm going to be visiting Florida very soon here this week but I'm not. Man, I just got really excited thinking about that. I haven't had time to actually process this trip as like a, something I'm looking forward to yet. It's just been a crap, I gotta get ready to go. But, no, I'm not near any beach. I'm not near any airbrush artist. I am by myself in the middle of the suburbs. I guess you call it the suburbs, I don't know. But I'm looking to change that soon, at least like somehow develop some community some regular, consistent, artistic community. 
because I'm tired of doing this alone. And that's where you guys come in. Alright. I feel like I'm all over the place. I'm gonna get back into the rhythm of what I'm doing here. Airbrush breaking in the middle of me. Painting wasn't fun. Don't drop your airbrushes, folks. This one is the tank. So it also gets Las Vegas 2021. That's that new tip, it's so weird. tried Wix, not so good. I tried Wix back in the day and wasn't good. I tried Squarespace way back in the day and I didn't like it either. Um, I've tried a lot. I've rebuilt my website a dozen times. So I do have some experience in web development and all of that. And after spending a lot of time and hours coding websites and doing it over and over and over again, now I suggest just go make an Etsy shop. Etsy didn't exist when I started doing this. L-A-T-I-S-S-H-A. -S -S Hi, Michaela. <laughs> Dale's King, no, I'm not. How long did it take me to learn airbrushing? I'm still learning airbrushing. I've been painting for about 12 years. I have friends at Square by, Square by Squarespace. I've heard a lot of good things about Squarespace and I'm sure they've improved. And maybe I was just dumb back when I tried it. I tried it back in the day, didn't like it. I forget even why, so I guess just ignore that. But yeah, a lot of content creators on YouTube are not only endorsing because they get paid by Squarespace too, but they're saying that like they really like Squarespace and they've used it for a long time. 1000 comes to mind. This video is brought to you by Squarespace. <laughs> Just go watch one of 1000's videos, you'll know who sponsors him. I'm pretty familiar with Shopify. Do I have a TikTok? I do. At the bottom of this video, there's actually a, a tag to it. You gotta type it in manually because it's not a link, but actually in the description, there's a link. Do the thing. Um, again, Las Vegas 2021.
palm tree. See, on this design, I got a bunch of up stuff over here and no up stuff over here. So that's where I'm gonna put my palm tree. I would say that that's how I planned it, but actually, I forgot there was a palm tree. See, I do not like this new needle. It's too clean, it's too fresh. And some rub some dirt in it. Oh, that's a gross palm tree. I just stopped doing beach scenes. I don't like doing I'm picky. Kayla, thank you for joining and being a member of the channel. I am appreciative of your support and generosity. You've immediately leveled up as a person. You are now at 13% cooler. How did you get into this and are you self-taught? I got into this because of a job out of high school. Worked at a theme park. I was taught how to airbrush by some great airbrush artists who I wish had social media platforms that I could point you to, but I don't believe that they do. I have not, they just don't post their work. Um, but they taught me for a good two years Got me the basics down on how to airbrush and all of that. Set me up with some pretty good lettering styles and things. But over the last 9 or 10 years or so, I've just been by myself. Being influenced by other artists over the interwebs. But pretty much painting by myself. I've always drawn and doodled and, and whatnot, but I never really finished sketches. I never did artwork that I would say, this is something that I painted. I just like to open up a sketchbook and just doodle on it and then throw away a page. Um, I would always draw shapes and lines and things and never draw things, just shapes. Um, and what I've learned to do with that, what the productive part of that has been, let me turn those shapes and mathematical lines into letters. And once I realized that I could do that, I always admired graffiti art. Once I actually tried it and looked at it, I went, hey, I can do this. And it was a lot of fun. And now I get to apply those doodles and algorithms into letters. I thought I wanted to be an architect as a kid because I like technical drawing. But I don't care about buildings. This isn't a real great example of it, but when you're doing real graffiti, you're really putting some time into it and stuff, there's a lot of math involved. Not numerical math necessarily, but like... Things gotta be consistent and lined up right or they're gonna look goofy. Lots of parallels and perpendiculars and... You gotta bust out your compass and protractor. Just your mental ones.
They all gotta go. See you later, King Pork. That is correct, Dylan. Rich I, was, oh, I always just tell everybody that I live in Richmond. Even though we don't live in Richmond. Okay. Moving on. We got some more graffiti football style designs. I don't know. I live in Hawaii. I would love to live in Hawaii. There's no airbrush artists in Hawaii. I'd have a hard time believing that. I know there are automotive airbrush artists in Hawaii. I don't know how many uh, t-shirt artists there are. There's not tourists at Hawaii going, oh, what a t-shirt. I mean, I guess there is, but. When you're a tourist in Hawaii, you go to like a resort. 2x, I'm gonna use this one first. I feel like this isn't the smoothest stream today. I'm sorry about that, guys. What do you love most about airbrushing? Please tell me. I love the variety, the range of detail that you can get with an airbrush. You can go from real tiny hairline detail to big broad strokes and lots of different effects without ever changing your tool. You don't have to use different brush sizes and all that. You can just use what you've got and do a lot of cool stuff. Um, the versatility, the amount of surfaces that you can paint on Etc. I gotta look at this. A name on top, a name on bottom. That's a lot. Okay. I'm gonna start with a football in the middle. This is a simple football shape. I don't spend a lot of time on like the illustration side of my shirts. Francisco 49ers. in the football, which is weird, but... That's what it is, okay. It's kind of a strange design. Thank <laughs> you. 
Having a hard time getting a surprise out there. Yes, I've heard a lot about Hawaii and even Australia and there's a bunch of places that just can't get airbrushed equipment, which is real sad because there's a lot of interest in those places. I mean, you can just buy it online, right? And have it shipped over there. It's 2020, we don't go to stores. It's 2021, even. Wow. Black and red are the colors here. Good old classic airbrush shop at the fair design. My music died. Oh. I'm getting sleepy. Thirty and wow, well, yeah, shipping everywhere is gonna be ridiculous, I guess. Um. Hmm. Even Amazon? Does Amazon do Amazon Prime to, to those to Hawaii? Because you can get everything you need on Amazon. Everything is a little more expensive, I guess. Like a bottle of paint. I get like the 20 ounce bottles of paint in there. Five or six bucks more on Amazon. on Amazon Prime, I'll name one if you want. What? 
know you can't get everything, but um, if you're in a pinch and you need some paint, you can grab some paint. Well, I will work on that. I don't have a massive amount of influence on the production of airbrush equipment at the moment, at least. Um, I will try to figure out best ways to do that. I'm gonna work with the spray gunner company that I've been working with and see if we can figure something out. I'm gonna have at least like starter kits and things through them that are the products that I use and recommend, at least get you set up with the right stuff. And hopefully we can figure out some shipping um, just the, the cheapest way, the best way or something. Because I know, I know how much it costs to ship stuff. I've been shipping stuff for a long time. Um, sometimes companies way overprice that shipping and that's not good. And if you're willing to wait like two weeks to ship to get your item, which is a long time, international shipping can be cheap. It just takes a long time to get there and it's unreliable. If I went USPS Express or I mean just regular priority. It could take two weeks, it could take a month and a half to get to like UK, but it's only like 30 bucks. Whereas the UPS would cost like $120. There's always options. We'll figure it out. Aaron, A-A-R-O-N. Mm -hmm. Miami Dolphins, number one. Sorry if I'm looking back, I gotta make sure I'm doing things consistently. <laughs> Orange and turquoise, the typical Miami Dolphins colors. You guys are having fun in the live stream. You, you, you do you. I'm not feeling real talkative today, you know?
The chat's what makes it fun. You're never gonna bother me. You can talk about whatever you want to. As long as you're being nice. Nice to each other. I don't care if you're nice to me. How did the police catch the murderer? They caught him. Red hand? Yeah, that would work, Kayla. Just start selling airbrush equipment. If you find a need and you're like, no one else is fulfilling this need, that's a good opportunity for you to open a business endeavor. by his dagger strokes. Rob Martin. That's not even funny. I didn't know, I didn't know an airbrush specific joke <laughs> existed. Oh man. I'm revoking your membership. Dagger stroke, everybody, is ending your line in a taper like that. That's what I do. It's every stroke that you do really is a dagger stroke. By his dagger strokes, are you serious? Kayla, if you can business. Yeah, do that. If you have the capacity to run a business, mentally and all that, do that thing. Guys, this is the last shirt of the day. The last one of the day. At least for the stream. Maybe not, I don't know. I can't promise that. I say that a lot and then I keep on going. So we'll, we'll see. You don't large. San Francisco again. Tisha. Stop dropping your hose on the ground, Dale. You moron. TikTok following. San Francisco again. I've tried live streaming on TikTok a lot. And sometimes it works out and I have a bunch of people in there and other times no one shows up. But I definitely, no matter what, never have the conversations and the chat activity that we have here on YouTube. Dale, if you could collab with any artist or YouTuber, who would it be? Um, it's a good question. There's a lot of people that I would like to collab with. 
I don't know many graffiti artists on a personal level. Like, I haven't talked to many. The only one that I've really talked to is Smo. I'm a big fan of Smo's. Because I really like his lettering and his personality and his helpfulness to other people. He's a kind individual, which means a lot to me. Um, so if there's somebody that I want to actually work with, it would probably be him because he's going to be a kind individual. But I would love to work with a variety of artists. I would like to start traveling around and seeing them. That would be the coolest thing to me, is to be able to, to travel and do videos and make collabs and start painting walls, not just shirts, with other established graffiti artists. That would be pretty sweet. Code with you and ZHC. See, I need to do more. I need to be more culturally relevant. I don't know all these people. I'm the most uncultured graffiti artist you probably ever met. One of my New Year's resolutions here in 2021 is to start talking to people on the internet. I talk to you guys and I chat with customers sometimes, but I don't have conversations with people throughout the day. Not even like text messages and personal conversations. I just don't talk to people and that's a dumb thing that I do. I just stay by myself and that's not helpful. Talking to pretty artists like the one we admire is difficult. Well, I mean, you can always chat with somebody on Instagram if they'll respond. I go in seasons of talking to a lot of people about graffiti, just like requests and messages and stuff. And then other seasons where I'm like, I don't, I can't. I don't want to have a conversation about it. I always answer like airbrush questions. But sometimes I don't want to. I'm ready to paint something else again. I'm tired of looking back. I just gotta make sure I do it the same as the other one. I think it's close. by his dagger strokes. My goodness. What kind of world do we live in? You can walk around with puns like that. I think it's okay. I agree, Wicked Paint. Um, live streaming has definitely helped me feel more connected to everybody. To other artists. It's very encouraging seeing the the not necessarily the compliments, that's not what I'm looking for, but the, the positive feedback about what I'm doing is inspiring to people. That's I didn't expect 
to have any kind of response to this, let alone like people busting out old airbrush kits and stuff because they're watching me paint. It's, it's really awesome to see it growing because of that. Thank you, Hand, for letters, man. Thank you, dude. This is done, too. I'm pretty much done. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and get off of here, guys. I painted the, the stuff. The next order that I have to do, it requires some setup before I can get into it, and it's gonna be a long and tedious one, even if it's gonna be, I'm thankful for the order. It's just gonna be really boring. But I'm gonna dip out. Thank you guys for hanging out. This was the shirt of the day. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd my favorite shirt go? Here it is. That's the one. Here we got some nice and bubbly letters. It was fun to paint right before I dropped my airbrush. It was cool. But uh, thanks for chilling. I will see you guys on a later date. And I love you, God bless you, goodbye. Wait, I'm back. Could I do a close-up slow-mo of dagger strokes? I can do that. Do, 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 let me get my newsprint out here. How many people do you think dipped out because of that? Most of them. Are you still here? The guy that asked. <laughs> Encore! Okay. Alright, some dagger strokes. I'm gonna use a different airbrush. This might be the one. Okay. I'm gonna get real close to the thing and see what happens. So, it's not really much to say, like, how do you do it? Dagger strokes, but my finger is moving about this much. This is the full range of the trigger, but I'm only doing about this. I'm getting closer to the shirt as I go. I wonder if I can do this. <laughs> That's not gonna help. I'm getting a little bit closer to the shirt as I taper out, and I'm pushing forward at the same time and the end of my stroke, I am almost touching the paper. That's how you get that sharp point. A good practice drill to do when you start out airbrushing is to, first thing you wanna do is get trigger control down. So keep the air down while you're painting and just pull back a little tiny bit until you see paint and immediately push the trigger back forward and make a bunch of dots, right? And then you can practice by connecting those dots one stroke at a time with a dagger stroke you're not gonna be able to make it look nearly like this at first until you do some practice. But this is the best practice that you can do. You just need to learn trigger control. It's like learning the clutch when you're when you're driving a car, where it starts and where it stops and how it feels. You just have to learn how to feel it. And you should be able to eventually get really controlled with everything. Combination of timing and muscle memory. And then you can start working in more advanced stuff like thick down, thin up loops that transition into your script lettering. Where you go thin, thick, thin, thick, thin, thick. And you fix your airbrush. Yeah. Painting on newsprint's a lot harder because it's not absorbent. But. Yeah, all of that. Um, we're gonna do another live stream soon. I plan on doing actual edited videos of how to airbrush, like I've always said, but also I'm gonna just like every now and then do a how to airbrush live stream and I'll start out by like an intro by a subject and then just leave the whole end to questioning for however long. I think that will be a good way to learn. Um, that might be like a members only thing later on down the road or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but whatever. We'll, we'll talk about that. Thanks guys again. I'm not coming back again this time. Maybe.
But thank you. I love you. Uh, goodbye again and stuff. I'll see you later.